Hey guys, Jake Signs here, Atomic Athlete. One of the best training tools we have in our gym is the sandbag. We're going to talk about how to build one. First thing you need is a bag. And right here we have an example of three different types of bags. This right here, common US Army uh, issue bag. Not the best one you can get. We found it's not near as durable as the cotton canvas ones you can buy at an Army surplus, or surplus store or Army supply store. Uh, these ones seem to break at the seams. Down in here, they don't last as long. Okay, We prefer the cotton canvas ones. But right here is a small type duffel bag you see in surplus. Works great for female athletes. You can tape it up, but you can't get it very heavy. Best ones we've found so far are the ones that militaryathlete.com sells. These guys right here, really, really reinforced around the seams. They have handles, all right? And they had this nice pigtail at the top, okay? We've never broken one of these bags, all right? The only thing that happens sometimes the material, depending on what you fill it with, will actually wear through the inside of the bag. But what now we're filling these bags with is basically a rubber mulch. You can get this from Home Depot, Lowe's. All it is is chopped up tires. We've also had pretty good experience or pretty good results with uh, using deer corn. Deer corn is a little denser material, so you can get a lot more weight in one bag. We found that basically one of these full-size bags gets to about 80 pounds with rubber. Anything after that, we're going to have to add either pea gravel, which chews the inside of the bag up, deer corn, and sometimes you can just toss in a dumbbell, like a 100-pound bag over there. So take your filler, fill the bag up, get to the top, and all you need to secure your bag is about a 20-inch piece of parachute cord. You see right here, I just did a little overhand loop. Let me put it on the whiteboard. This little overhand knot, got about a four or five inch pigtail, and then a long working end. This loop right here, I'm gonna put it around the bag, get it nice and tight. I take that long tail, put it through that loop. And what that does is gives me a bite in. I can just cinch that thing nice and tight. Make sure this smaller pigtail is available. We're going to tie onto that. Get it really tight, tight as you can. Make a full extra loop. We're going to finish this bag off with a simple square knot. Make sure when you're using parachute cord, it's actually gutted. If it's nice, round, and fat, it's going to come untied. Simple square knot, nice and tight, just like that. If you're so inclined, you can duct tape it. It'll last a little bit longer. But a lot of times we're changing our bags around. If we have a test or something coming up and we need a certain number of 80 pound bags, then it's pain in the ass to change it. There's duct tape on there. Parachute cord works great. It's easy to untie. We've had no problems with it. Okay? So all you need, bag, a good type of filler. Get it at Home Depot or a feed store, some deer corn, and some parachute cord. and create a really great training tool. Got any questions? Send us an email.